Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. In this video, we are going to see the tradable pollution permits. Actually, this is a particular topic which come under the arena of environmental economics. So we have already, um, actually we have already discussed certain topics which would be coming under the environmental economic aspect like externalities, pollution, ghost theorem, etc. So this is uh, one of the important topics in the arena of environmental economics. Let's get started. Ensuring good water quality, as we all know, it is something which is very much essential towards water security or water conservation. As a result, pollution control is considered to be a very important part of water resource management. And tradable pollution permits are very much so-called cap and trade schemes. They give companies a legal right to pollute a certain amount per fixed time span. Firms or companies that pollute less than they sell, they are left over pollution permits to firms that pollute more. Okay. The point of this is that polluting firms as well as public agencies differ in their ability to abate their pollution. Some can do it very easily and cheaply, uh, whereas in the case of others, it would be more difficult as well as costly. As a result, tradable pollution permits could be a cost-effective way to achieve a reduction in overall pollution. The freedom to trade pollution and and This is something which gives an incentive for polluters to consider the abatement, while others face the cost of having to purchase permits. For society, the existence of tradable permits enables pollution abatement to be achieved in the least costly manner. Over time, pollution standards can be tightened. This would increase the value of permits as well as the pressure on the market participants would be increased. Credits are traded within defined trading arenas. Let's understand the trading in pollution permits, how it arises, in which all situations or in which all contexts this would arise. This could be understood with the help of a certain examples which already happen in certain economies or certain countries or nations. For example, if you look into the case of USA with respect to Fox River, you could see that permits to discharge into specific water bodies issued to local firms and wastewater treatment plants. In the case of Australia with respect to uh, Hunter River, <laughs> where you could see that the coal mining and power companies were discharging waste into this particular river, there was salinity credits. And in the case of USA, Canada, Netherlands and Australia, uh, you can see that there is nutrient trading. Transactions listed under some schemes uh, include bubble licensing, in which several water uh, wastewater treatment plants are considered together and apply nitrogen as well as phosphorus load discharge limits and diffuse uh, source offset. This means that a water authority can purchase offset credit from external sources using much cheaper ways of reducing overall nutrient pollution. A number of these schemes, uh, these are not the only schemes, there are several others as well. But you could see that I have just taken some certain examples here to make you understand. So you could see that all these schemes, especially with respect to water pollution, that is what we have taken into consideration here. But uh, tradable pollution permit is not with respect to water pollution. You would see uh, it in the case of air pollution, land pollution. Uh, soil pollution etc. So this are something uh, which are in the pilot phase and this uh, the experience of the same is still accumulating. Mainly tradable permits are used used to manage air pollution. What, is, uh, what are all the lessons learned with respect to tradable pollution permits? So we could see that uh, the kinds or different kinds of tradable pollution permits are used in several economies or several nations. So what is the importance of these? <coughs> Sorry. We could see that there is a need for a mechanism for initial allocation of rights. Uh, this which should be seen to be fair and be equitable as well as effective. 
Initial prices can be set by the government or it could be determined through the public auctions. The decision on how how long permits are valid is very important if ever governments want to change the price for a pollution unit. If permits, uh, if these are considered to be valid indefinitely, then companies can ban unused pollution certificates, which means that later price correction would be less effective. In order to be effective, monitoring systems need to be put in place to keep track of the pollution discharges of companies uh, and other users so that uh, the actual discharge can be determined as well as fines could be imposed if companies surpass the pollution levels allotted through their permits. A system, uh, a system that rely on pollution permits as opposed to mandatory pollution cuts or limits set by the government allows companies that are wealthy enough to keep polluting. It's also possible to set up a system in which credits are not just sold but um, or generated through um, uh, environmental services or water treatment is. An example of this kind of a system is the Maryland nutrient trading system. Here the farmers can produce credit in trading system by installing uh, some buffers or, or covering crops. To qualify as credit, these practices must be certified as well as this would be inspected by appropriate authorities. So that's all about trade, uh, trading uh, with tradable pollution permits. Uh, please like, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos. And I welcome you to my telegram group as well as telegram channel to discuss your doubts. I am very happy to inform you that there are several people who could benefit out of uh, this uh, telegram group as well as telegram channel. They are making their discussions. They are, they are getting their uh, doubts clarified. So uh i think it would be a beneficial for you uh, with respect to offering a good platform for you to discuss your doubts and getting it clarified so you can be there uh, i'll be providing the link of both uh, in the description box thank you for watching